Naima? Ron, Ossoff's team says that because he had a virtual headquarters situation, they don't know if he is going to be addressing his supporters and the voters who have been supporting him throughout this intense matchup with David Perdue, which means tonight at this hour, we may not hear from him. But, you know, it's been a heated back and forth. The gloves came off months ago. They've been going back and forth in debates long before the debates, even name calling and it getting very intense with Ossoff calling Perdue do a crook and then Purdue saying Ossoff has a radical socialist agenda. Today Ossoff made that decision to go virtual unlike all the other candidates running for a Senate position in Georgia. This is a decision that he made apparently according to the pandemic. This is a race where the stakes are too high as Democrats were hoping to capture the Senate majority for the first time since 2015. Here's what Ossoff said on our air. Uh, well now we can officially say yesterday morning um, when 11 Alive anchors Sheba Russell asked him about the intense matchup. Choice between the old pay to play corrupt politics of the past or fresh leadership that brings a fresh perspective that will focus on empowering doctors and scientists to confront this virus. The information that has been coming in so far 155 out of 159 precincts are reporting their results. The rest are reporting partial information uh, so far close to 53% of the votes are in favor of David Perdue. His team, uh, uh, John Ossoff's team was hoping for a different outcome again. So much more to go still early in the night. So we'll see what more information we can gather.